and welcome to the shop. Today's video is going to be it's going to be a simple 3D job that we're actually going to 3D print. So I'm going to break this up into two separate videos, uh, and it's going to be a, a boss and a standoff for these high torque NEMA 23s to fit onto the Amax CNC router. Welcome back to this 3D printing video, which is a carry-on from the Fusion 360 video I did yesterday. So we're going to print this standoff for a NEMA 23. So the first thing we do is go to File. Load File desktop there it is there double click and it's in so we're not going to it's in the middle of the build plate uh, there's nothing here we need to actually do we don't need to move it on the build plate so we're going to say okay let's start slicing so first of all it's PLA uh, I'm using a Flash Forge Adventurer 3 and I'm using 1.75 millimeter of uh, PLA let's have a look Look at this standard, fine. Now we'll do standard. Um, so the temperature of the extruder is going to be 210 degrees centigrade. The build plate is going to be pre warm and uh, be held at 50 degrees C. That's important uh, to be able to stick to the build plate and um, stop the warpage of plastic uh, if it cools too quickly and nothing else there needs to be done we'll have a look at these layer height actually we could change one thing standard print let's go fine general settings that's all okay shell now this is going to be under quite a bit of um, pressure I suppose so we're going to we'll go with that to three millimeters I think okay Infill. Top solid layer form, that's fine. The one we need to alter is this one here. So, fill density 75% because I want a fairly, fairly dense, robust. I might even go to 80. I go to 80, 80% 80 fill. Um, hexagonal shape. Hexagonal will be fine. That's a very, very strong shape. Nothing to alter there. Nothing to alter, nothing else to alter. Um, no, we don't need respect. Rafting, yes. Excuse the dogs in the background, they're just about to be fed, I think. I don't know, alter any settings there. Yes, I want rafting. I'm going to leave everything as is. So I'm happy with that. So it has sliced. Or is slicing in the background? Okay, this is preview. 
And there we are. There's the raft in there that it stands on. And that is the build. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so let's send it to our printer. Now being sent to the printer. Um, I'm actually connected to the the printer by a Wi-Fi, and these here, um, one is the build plate, and the other one is the the extruder head. So you see that. This is the build plate and it's coming up, starting to come up to temperature now. And you'll notice that um, the extruder head is coming sort of down to a, an area where it's, uh, it'll start to warm up. And when the build plate reaches t close to its uh, target temperature, the extruder head will start to warm up. I use a split screen here so uh, you can see what's going on with the printer as well. So you can see the extruder heats up fairly rapidly. And you'll also notice that my choice of uh, Flash Forge Adventure 3 is enclosed. That's fairly important because uh, you know it, it stops any dust getting in on the print, and also the enclosure heats up as well, and uh, it uh, allows you to get a near perfect print. So there you are. It's starting to lay down the the raft now that it's all going to be built on and uh, I'll play some nice music in the background and you can just I'll speed this footage up so uh, you know you're not going to sit here for three hours so um, see if we can get this done in about um, oh, less than five minutes
Now that is a perfect print. Beautiful. And of course, I think uh, having an enclosed 3D printer is probably the way to go. That's fairly weighty actually. That's an 80% um, fill. Very strong. It'll do the job. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, come back and have a look at one of my other videos. And it's bye for now.